far away. Aaron North's birthday present, half century and, a, and an emphatic win. Yeah, yeah, it was a certainly, it was a good win. Um, I think they got away to a bit of a fly of the heat. Um, we're a little bit undermanned at the moment, obviously missing Ash, um, but we'll get him back next week. So um, anytime you get a win like that, it's um, really important for the competition. So absolutely stoked. How much more does it mean? Because you're missing so many players through unavailability and, and injuries and that sort of thing. It's, it feels like you're, you're dealing with a lot of adversity at the moment. Yeah, I think that's something that Scorchers have become really good at over the last couple of years. Um, one, obviously last year, that was under a lot of adversity, couldn't get back home. Uh, the year before, a lot of COVID interruptions, we couldn't quite win, but we um, came runners up. So I think as a team, we're really good at dealing with adversity. So it just feels like another year, to be honest. And batting at three, looked like um, you really enjoyed that promotion up the order. Yeah, absolutely love batting at three. Um, done it my whole life in club cricket. Um, so yeah, anytime you get, you get more balls to bat when you bat at three in 2020 cricket. So um, yeah, glad I took the opportunity tonight. Talk us through your last couple of weeks as well. It's been a bit of a roller coaster for yourself. You felt like you were really close to a test squad call up, then you then you injure your quad uh, in doubt for, for this game and that as well, and come out and score a half century. Yeah, I think fortunately for me, there's been so much cricket to play that I haven't really had time to sort of sit down and, and reflect on how close I might have been um, to test call up. So um, it's been a positive that we've had so much cricket to play, so I can just focus all my attention on the scorches. Um, Hopefully I've got a pretty clear role now for the rest of the tournament, um, get back to bowling again next week. So I'm really looking forward to what the next few weeks have. How was the, were you pretty close to missing out today or were you always? Um, no, I was always going to play today. Um, yeah, had to have a little run around um, before the game, um, but that went fine. So um, yeah, all good. You fell just short in that run out. How did that feel out there? Yeah, I was, I was praying that it was not out. Um, it was obviously very close. I thought that I was home straight away, but um, yeah obviously just missed out so it would have been nice to go on with Cam we're really good mates we play club cricket together so it would have been awesome to be out there at the end together but um, maybe next time. And we didn't see with the ball today was that due to the quad? Yeah just sort of managing um, I mean it's only a very minor sort of strain so um, yeah I expect to be back bowling next week. Um, we've heard from Cameron White earlier when, when you guys beat the Six and say that the Scorchers are hiding you away but do you feel like now the competition's taking notice of you? Uh, yeah, I feel like the competition's taking notice of the whole Scorchers. Um, oh, at the start of the tournament, a lot of people said we'd um, undermanned, um, but everyone sort of stepped up throughout throughout the tournament. So um, I think, yeah, there's probably 11 players in the Scorchers team that um, look out for. Was that a bit of a motivator that people probably wrote you off due to injury, due to COVID, due to, you know, due to things outside of your control? Yeah, absolutely. Um, never need extra motivation coming into a big bash tournament. Um, but certainly something we pride ourselves on. We have a very strong history. Um, obviously won the most amount of titles in the competition. So um, we, yeah, we aim to win every competition that we play. So um, that's plenty of motivation for us. Have you got your sights set on something in particular? Have you got the India, you know, the one day is coming out? Have you got any, something that you're really working towards? Uh, no, nah, to be honest, it's just taking it game by game. Um, I've never played a full domestic season yet. A few injuries have popped up in, in previous years. So uh, very much taking it game by game and uh, looking to get through the rest of the big bash and then, and then looking to shield cricket after that. Have you heard much from the national selectors about your form and, and that sort of thing? No, not really, no. Well, we very much, it's, cr cricket's very much a numbers game. Um, got to take, got to score lots of runs and take lots of wickets. So that's, that's what I've been planning to do. The, next couple of months and, and see what happens. You started the season wanting to be that Tim David finisher. It looks like you, you might have um, cemented that number three spot now for the back half of the season. Yeah, yeah. I, if I reckon I'll probably slide in at three for the rest of the season and absolutely I'm stoked for that. I love batting up the order. Um, obviously, Mitch being out probably helps that cause. So we'll see what happens next season. But for the rest of this season, I think, um, yeah, I'll probably be batting three. Oh, I'm getting a lot of crap from him um, about <laughs> running too slow, or, um, but uh, no, nah, he's, he's awesome help. Um, I've sort of certainly watched the way he bats at three over the past couple of years and, and probably that's all the help I need from him. Uh, he absolutely goes out there and dominates. So if I can um, keep looking to bat like him, I think that's going to go a long way. He said tonight he thinks he hits it further. What, what would you say to that? <laughs> I think he's probably got a few bigger bombs in me um, than I have hit, um, but he's played a few more games, so I'll try to catch him. <laughs> Um, quick word tonight as well on the crowd. Obviously, it's been consistently high and consistent with that all season. Um, how much of a boost is it to actually play regularly in front of 
crowds like this and how much of a buzz is there amongst the group because of it? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, when we got over 20,000 for the first game, we were absolutely pumped. Um, I think 26,000 um, for New Year's Day, or for Boxing Day, sorry, and then 28,000 tonight. So when we see those numbers come up, we're absolutely um, buzzing. So we love playing in front of the crowd and, and it certainly helps us get over the line, um, especially in games like today. So they were backing us the whole way, which was awesome. Thanks, Thanks. Cool. Thanks. 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 Thank you.